Hi and welcome to Resetpedia. Today I'm going to show you how to bypass the activation screen on your Motorola Droid X2. Okay, let's say you did a factory reset um, and uh, you want to get back into the phone. Um, let's say you're no longer using a Verizon, but you still want to, you know, I mean, use the phone as um, for some sort of purpose. Um, you know, to listen to music, uh, just use it as a iPod or uh, any other uh, means. Or you're purchasing a phone, um, like on Craigslist or something, and uh, the guy reset the phone. You want to be able to test the phone, right? Well, the only way to get, you know, I mean, bypass the activation screen here is to have a valid uh, or an active uh, Verizon account. But um, there's another way which uh, bypasses the activation and I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay? So, let's first get started. This will be a really uh, quick and simple tutorial. So, what we want to do is we want to touch the four corners of the uh, Android screen. So, left, left corner, right corner, bottom right corner, bottom left corner, and it already started the activation process, okay? So, let's go activate, let's go back home. Now when you see that, it's in the, basically, that's what you want to see. end that call program unsuccessful which is fine you're gonna hit the home button once you hit the home button you're gonna see connection fail this is where you want to be okay so we want to skip the setup or you could you know I mean uh, log on to your Wi-Fi if you want so I'm gonna skip the setup next next and then we're back at the home screen um, currently there is no service on the phone and that is how you would bypass the activation screen on the uh, Droid X2 uh, from Verizon. Okay, if you guys found this tutorial helpful, uh, give me a thumbs up, a like, um, subscribe. You never know when you're going to need it. Uh, you can bookmark this page. Alright, thank you for watching.